Tuesday night, Clareton's basketball game with Manesson High School was cut short when a big brawl broke out. Tonight, a very different game in Clareton with changes made to avoid any repeat. David Highfield has the story. While the district and police continue to investigate what happened Tuesday night, the administration posted on Twitter that Friday's game would be closed to the public. Only parents and guardians of players would be allowed inside. There was an odd silence at Friday night's Clareton's boys basketball game. That's because the bleachers were mostly empty, except for parents of players. Sometimes they have to take precaution measures and be safe and do what they feel is best to calm things down, considering what happened the other night. No one wanted to risk a repeat of this, a basket brawl that erupted after two players from opposing teams, Clareton and Manesson, threw punches at each other, and then the crowd jumped in. We wanted to make sure that it was still open for the parents and the guardians of the participating student athletes, but we wanted to control the amount of people that were coming in here tonight. Friday's game was against St. Joseph from Natrona Heights, not rival Manesson. Just the same, the district also doubled the number of police from two to four. As for a possible penalty from the WPIAL, the hope is it will not mean being barred from the playoffs. I wouldn't put too, too many penalties on uh, for the kids because uh, it's a learning experience and I think that they've, I think that they'll learn their lesson. The next chapter in this happens on Monday. That's when the WPIAL wants to meet with officials from both Clareton and Manesson. In Clareton, David Highfield, KDKA TV News.